Good morning, this is Andrew from Trend Following Mentor. It is the 30th of March, 2015. In this little short video, I just want to talk about being invested in the stock market. And I know that there's going to be some that just take full exception to this. What I truly believe is there's times to be on the sidelines. And where we are right now in the stock market is almost an example of that. We have seven distribution days, both on the NASDAQ and on the S&P 500. You can almost see that by just the choppiness in the market. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And also have one of these not happy faces. We've hit support, which is positive, you can say. But the thing is, these distribution days are, are almost a foreseer of institutional selling. The other thing you can look at is saying, how are our stocks doing that we've purchased, that we're long? And I can show you the ones that I'm in, and I'm not suggesting them. Again, this is just for education only. I've had stocks that you could say broke out. And the breakouts are kind of lackadaisical, if you want to say that. And I have no idea if they're going to work or not work. And that's why I also trade with stops. But then uh, what's interesting is one of the shares that I was... I'd say if I had a little bit more, uh, I'm trying to think of the best wording, um, conviction. This stock broke out. Took me out, I lost, basically what I did was like this. Went out, broke out, and then I started trailing because it went up more than 7%. I, did, I, I trailed it, so I didn't give back a full 7%, I gave back 5%, and as Murphy Law would have it, it turned right around and it's back at the breakout point. The question is, which I've had conversations with some of my students that also found this stock that has triple digit earnings, so do I buy it back? And you know what, there's, there's a difference between having rules and then having art here. And there's a fine line. My fine line is saying, where are we in the market? Many of my breakouts aren't working. I'll give another example. So I don't have the highest level of conviction. I also bought Facebook on the breakout, right here. It's not overly doing it. Overly doing would be a pull back a little bit and then just keep on going. This is a big turn down this day. That's where we had the triple digit down. So this is what I teach my students. You look at the market first. Let's go back to that real quick. And you can see we're in this choppy period, even though according to the rules, I still should be long. We haven't fallen from the highs X percent. We haven't taken out the moving averages, but I'll tell you this, they're pretty close. This is on the QQQs or the QLDs. You can look at the spiders. Guess what? They're not looking good. They went to cash, got chopped around a little bit, but it's okay to have small little losses. So my conviction level is not like here. And we're also late stage in a bull market. So, and just make a little quick of a, a summation. What I look at is where I am in the market. Are my stocks that I picked, which I try to pick the best stocks in the market, both fundamentally and technically. Fundamentally means they're making money. Their earnings per share is increasing. Their annual earnings are increasing. I like seeing triple digits. And then technically, are they breaking out? This is the whole point of trend following. And at this point, it's pretty difficult. It's hard to make money so far this year. I've had several shares that have done very nicely, and I've had just a handful that haven't worked. But all in all, it's not a rock and, rock and roll year so far. So this is what I teach my students. It's also in the book, The Bible of Trend Falling. You can pick it up on Amazon, The Bible of Compounding Money. I have one-on-one -on -one consulting, hourly. If you decide to do that, I'll give you the course for free. I also have videos, but really the whole key is to try to help you become a better trader. That's my goal at TrendFollowingMentor.com. And if you have any questions or if I can help you anyway, just email me at Andrew at TrendFollowingMentor.com. Thank you.